Tommy, I guess not much has happened since uh, Saturday's post-match interview. A little training session today. How's that been? Yeah, it was just a head count, really. See how the lads were health-wise. Um, and they all seem to have come through fairly OK. Um, so, yeah, we look forward to the next game. Um, another tough encounter against another team at the right end of the table, if you like. So, yeah, we're, we're really looking forward to the game. With three games in a week, does it change the way you do training? Is it less... Is there less like ball work or less intensity, maybe? Possibly a little less intensity in a game, in a session like this morning, simply because a lot of the lads have, you know, put a heavy shift in on the mm. Saturday. But obviously, the lads who didn't start the game or that played part of the game need a little bit topping up. So you do a little bit of a split session. But still, obviously, our main focus as a group has been on Tuesday night since Saturday night. And um, the relevant information has been given to the lads again. And obviously, we'll go. With whatever team we go with, we'll have a we'll have a plan to try and win the game. Looking at our opponents, as you said, you know they've they've had a cracking season so far, and they're, and they're going to be a tough opponent, aren't they? Absolutely, much like Altrincham, to be fair. And um, you know, I've used that as a sort of um, a benchmark in terms of we went to Altrincham earlier in the season, and we were right in the game and came away with nothing. You know, beaten by the odd goal in three. The same as it happened at Barnet. So we turned the altering thing around, so we're going to try and turn the Barnet one around. But ultimately, we know they've come off the back of a really good win themselves uh, at the weekend away from home. Um, but we didn't travel, so we'll, let's hope that, that plays to our advantage. We're we going to have to manage any minutes, perhaps. Obviously, it's you know it's a mm. long season. We're, we're to the business end of it, as they say. And with three games in a week, maybe there will be some tired legs. So yeah. is that something we're going to have to be wary of? Um, without a doubt, I mean, at the end, and at the end of the day, I think I've said it numerous occasions. Every single player we value here, you know, the ones that are, are here and available for us to pick, we will be picking the best eleven we can for the for, for what we want to do, but also for the opposition as well, you know. So everybody would, well, a lot of people would just think, oh, you'll pick the same team because it was a very good performance on Saturday. There wasn't one player I felt whether they started the game or whether they came from the bench that. Didn't, didn't fit seamlessly with what we were doing and everybody was on the same page for the whole 90 odd minutes that we played um, and that's that's the aim as a staff every time we, we play so there will be changes but I won't be telling you who they are <laughs> but you know we can all have um, confidence in the players that do come yeah. in because as you said on Saturday the players that came off the bench the, the bench we've had this season yeah. all, at, all top, at all points there's yeah. some brilliant depth isn't there in our squad yeah, I mean, there's certain players that probably feel like they could have played a little bit more, and and I would agree with them. But I can only pick eleven, so so you know. And I think most of them have been very understanding of that. Um, I've not had anybody really uh, come to me and and just you know complain about not playing. They haven't. I don't think they've had much. Uh, well, some, some one or two might have had more reason to than others, but um, like I, I explained to them, or I tried to explain to them, that they are as valued, whether they start or whether they don't, they're as valued to us as a staff as anybody, um, and sure as eggs is eggs, between now and the end of the season, there'll be one or two faces playing a little bit more than they maybe have done in the last couple of weeks, because that's just the way it'll work, there'll be suspensions, there'll be a, a niggle or workload like this one Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday means somebody will probably not be able to, or a couple of the lads mightn't be able to, to do that because of their history. Um, and we as a staff, both medical and, you know, the technical guys, the, we've, we've got to manage that load. Do you think the confidence within the squad, uh, sorry, the, um, the competition within the yeah. squad is something that has um, given our dressing room such a good you know, spirit, because every player I seem to speak to is one of those players that has a bit of competition behind them, but they all say how they're all chomping at the bit to, to get those 90 minutes in. Yeah, well, you know, if I was to ask the team to pick a team, the only person that every one of them would pick is themselves. Yeah. But I would I would suggest the team might be picked quite differently from different different aspects or different angles. It depends it depends who you are. But ultimately we we pick the best team we all feel is the you know the most suited for the, the next fixture. And so so far so good. Um like I say we've got thirteen or so games left and I'm sure there'll be there'll be changes and you know for different reasons. There might even be a slight tweak in the shape on occasions. But but ultimately we like to feel that we're confident in in our in our, our own identity as a group of players. Um and so, therefore, we try to impart our will on the opposition more than them on us. Simple as that. 